In exchange for his aid, Sorsley orders House Wolfort to transport his illicit salt. Sarah Noah, however, intends to bring word of the minister's crimes to the holy state of Hyzant. In order to succeed, he must delve deep into the nation's internal affairs while avoiding Sorsley's notice. So you've decided to accept my proposal. A wise decision, Lord Serenoa. As you have requested, none shall know of the salt's dis- But you are still too young for true wisdom, it seems. Huh? He means, let us not speak of the obvious, my lord. It's prudent to speak as little as possible to prevent any unnecessary complications. One never knows who might be listening. <laughs> Fortune favored you with a capable retainer. I beg your pardon, Minister, but I must entreat you to recall the aid you offered in exchange for ours. I give you my word it shall be done. Booker, I'll leave the rest of the arrangements to you. Yes, Minister. If you all will follow me into the antechamber, we may discuss the details further. You've made a bargain with Minister Sorsley? The appearance of one in any case. But we mustn't grow complacent. Hi. One of his men wouldn't stop glowering at Benedict. He may yet suspect our true motives. Nevertheless... We shan't stray from the course we've decided upon, if that's what worries you. Tell them, Benedict. Minister Sorsley has asked us to deliver unregulated salt to Esfrost by means of a secret route. We shall make it appear as though we are bound for the Grand Duchy, but in truth, we shall divert from the route and make for the capital of Hyzant. I've already scouted the way, a shortcut through the ravine. Then you intend to use the illicit goods to prove Minister Sorsley's crimes to the Hierophant. But will a little salt be enough to land one of the saintly seven in the dungeons? After all, he's influential and well-connected enough to have weathered unsavory accusations for years. If we don't present our case perfectly, we're apt to be the ones clapped in chains, not the other way around. We only need get to the capital for our plan to succeed. The saintly seven may pretend they stand united, but there are cracks in that facade. If we but exert the right leverage, Sorsley will fall. True, there are those who mistrust him. Minister Exham, for example. Indeed. Now then, we shall depart come midnight. As you command. Eridor. Uh, <clears throat> right you are. Quiet as a mouse I'll be. So, I am queen. What should I do? You should listen to the Archduke and obey. Is that all the Archduke wants? An obedient wife? And here I thought the Esfrosti valued freedom. So long as you must look to others, you do not deserve freedom. <gasps> freedom is a privilege. And only those with the strength to see their will realized are deserving of it. It is not given, it is taken. And it is not often taken easily. This I know.
I see. Thank you. Next time you think to ask that question, answer it yourself. Brother, father, look over me until I find the strength I require. What is Gustadolf thinking to marry a sniveling brat? No glory is worth her dismal company. It is unacceptable. He should have let me deal with those obstinate boars in Glenbrook. Serenoa and his retinue depart the Citadel of the Sands under the cover of night and make their way to the Hyzantian capital. They press onward through the moonless dark, guided by naught but the faintly flickering light of hope. followed no cause to relax just yet milady moment you drop your guard is the moment the enemy's apt to strike ain't it benedict indeed this is where i would position soldiers for an ambush were i to set a trap for us i the hunter would have the upper hand here. Let us scout the area to be safe.
You found anything? No, my lord. Only our own footprints. Strange. Few travel this path, but it is still traveled. Someone must have covered their tracks. Well, if it isn't House Woolfort's Mopley crew, imagine my surprise at finding you here. Whatever are you doing? We were merely on our way to... No need for pretense, my lord. Not when his life is forfeit for having discovered us. I think you have it the wrong way around. Die. You'll have to be cleverer than that to outwit me. Here, this is what you get for trying to make fools out of us. We must put an end to this. Take them all down. Here I come. Every defense has a weakness. Well now. My turn. Come get me. I shirk from no danger! For my kingdom!
Watch out for the archers up there! Saranoa, we must do something. If we stop moving for even a second, they'll have us. <laughs> There's nowhere to run once it starts raining arrows. For the honor of House Wolfort. There is no mercy on the battlefield. There is always a way. My turn. Time to take action. I will do what I can. Watch me work. show you what I've learned. You're watching, Grandfather. I 
I'll make you proud, Grandfather. Well now. Fine. Looks like I shall have to kill you myself. The pain will end soon. Every defense has a weakness. You won't escape. Victory is within reach. This'll hurt. Charge! My last strike's true! <laughs> For my kingdom! Just so. Back at you. Here I come. Try this. Not an option. Now I end. Let us pry out their weakness. Let us reverse our fortunes. My knowledge grows deeper. To work. Have my gratitude.
I can heal too. This will be of great use. My turn. Stronger already. Ha! I won't lose. For my kingdom. Impossible. Here I come. My shield. Carefully. The sense here to lead. I must grow. We doing this? Strike while the iron's hot. out there all for victory I do my best Time to work. You will escape. Come get me. I hope you're watching, Grandfather. My turn. Ready. Might use this. Time to take flight. Wolf is cornered. Now I end this. I see a path to victory.
strike while the iron's hot. I won't lose! Stick on! Have mercy. Victory is ours. Surely we needn't shed yet more blood. We cannot spare him, my lady. Not when he knows what we intend to do. He was complicit in the salt fraud, was he not? Perhaps he might agree to bear witness for us. Yes, yes! I'll tell you everything. Whatever you wish. Then let us attempt it. Fools! You haven't won yet! Once I report to Minister Sorsley, he will crush your pathetic house! You certainly took your time, Anna. No more than was necessary. <sighs> Unfortunate. We'll have to find another witness. His lips may have been sealed, but it's only a matter of time until this betrayal is discovered. We must prove our case before that happens. Come, let us hurry to the capital. After surviving an ambush at the hands of Sorsley's retainer, Booker, Serenoa and his retinue arrive at the Hyzantian capital. Exum Marshall is absent when they arrive to denounce House End's crimes, and they are denied an audience with the Hierophant. Still, another of the Saintly Seven, Minister Kamsal Farrant, who oversees domestic affairs, agrees to hear them out. I thank you for bringing this matter to my attention. That said, salt makes for poor evidence. There's simply no way of telling legitimate goods apart from illicit ones. Surely, as Minister of Domestic Affairs, rumor of Sorsley's illegal salt trade has reached you. Rumor, yes, but nothing more. From foreign sources, no less. I cannot help wondering if these rumors are more intended to drive a wedge between us and Sorsley. And in doing so, 
throw our land into chaos. Not that I would question the honorable intentions of House Wolfort, of course. I understand you have good reason to doubt in your position, Minister Kamsel. May I ask if you know when Minister Exam will return to the capital? It is difficult to say. He is a busy man. But weeding out corruption is a duty that falls to House Farrant. If you find anything else, pray. Inform me at once. Of course. So, he wants us to bring him further evidence before agreeing to aid us. Even one of the saintly seven can only act upon the surest foundation, it seems.